welcome to learn new technology now we are going to see how we can run our test script from remote system which is browser stack i kept my code in github so i can get it from there so this is the public repository so these are the files you can get it from there let's start our coding now so we have launched visual studio editor now so let's go to a new project then this pop-up will come so here we need to select the project type of the project so that will be any unit test project then need to click on next let's give the project name So as per your requirement, you can give any name. So once we give the project name, we need to click on create. Then our project template will be created. Let's wait for that. So it's cre created now. So these are the packages automatically will be loaded. So let's remove these things. I think we don't require these things currently so we can use this method for our test purpose so we are going to launch a browser further we are going to add the interface iWeb driver creating the object then this package will be automatically loaded no need to worry about it if need if we need additional packages we need to click on package then you get option to be selected so these are the required packages selenium support selenium web driver selenium chrome driver uh, web driver chrome driver so here we'll be getting the pop-up so in which we need to select so firstly we need to go to browse then we need to uh, enter the package name so it will come there then we need to select selenium support so select then need to click on install so it started in installing this package need to click on accept also then second package selenium web driver so click on install then click on ok then the third package so web driver chrome driver let's install it now So here the version is there let's install it now click on ok so this is our test class so once the package is loaded so the error will be left so we need to select this uh, package so it's highlighting with the green color as it says that we did not start using this way uh, object so desired capabilities this one of the class so for this class we are creating an object cap equal to new desired capabilities the class name that we are using then we need to using first one we need to select then the object dot so we need to select the option method as set capability so inside the set capability method we can pass key with values so first we passed as OS operating system 
so which platforms we are going to use it so uh, operating system we have given as windows so object driver we call to remote web driver the new URI so here insert we need to pass the value then comma object of the decide capability class So we have copied from our nodes the first uh, one you know the process tacky so this is a remote server address so here it's uh, showing error so we need to correct it So it's corrected now. So here we have uh, copied the value from our nodes. So the first one, uh, what it says, uh, the second one, the line number 20, it says that we are going to use operating system Mac. For that we have given OS, then OS X, then line number 21, capability dot set capability. So we, here we have passing the value as OS version. So the Mac system OS version that we are going to use is this is high Sierra then line number 22 browser what browser we are going to use it Safari browser then the uh, line number 23 it says that browser version 11.0 we are going to use it then line number 24 it says that browser stack dot local false now we are not going to run the script in our local that's why we here we are mentioning as false then next line number 25 capability dot set capability browser stack dot selenium version 3.5.2 so this is one we are going to use it then next line number 27 as i said previously so remote server address we have given so through this it's going to run our script so now we are going to launch the browser driver dot navigate method dot then go to URL we need to select we have selected so now we are going to pass the value URL value so this is our browser stack page so this is a URL that we are going to launch so we are passing this URL here So this is, a, this is a desired capability class. So now the error is resolved. So we need to select the project, then we need to build it. Let's see the result. Uh, if it's successfully built with error without error, one succeeded, zero failed. So let's launch the test explorer. So here we need to select method. So let's uh, run it. Run all tests. Need to click on. 
our test is started now it started let's uh, it's passed so let's get into our browser stack our account so this is our account uh, so here we can you know they get the browser stack username and as well as access key also uh, so if you click on access key link link is there if you click you can, you'll get it then you need to add this value in in, in our script then only the uh, our script will con directly contact the server then we'll start our application from the remote server so now we are navigating to dashboard so here you could see the started the process so it's launched browser then the uh, you are also launched google page was launched and still it's processing so finally the video will be available in the browser stack So here uh, the status is still shows as running so we need to wait for until it gets pass so here the voice version given browser version browser name given then local testing also it shows that off So here we can uh, get the status as pass or fail as we are using the javascript executor so it will uh, if it's pass it will say as pass then it will if the condition true then it will say as pass else it will say as false so we have saved our script then we are going to rebuild it again So we are running the script again it's passed let's go to browser stack now let's refresh it it started processing so status shows as passed this is what we can automate our script and run from remote server so the safari browser is launched then google page is launched this is what uh, we have written the script like this you can you can run our script from browser stack Just you can refer the co my public repository that I have showed in the beginning of the video, so that I have given all the uh, iPhone, Android phone, then all the browsers I have given, so you can get it from the configuration from there. So here we have given the browser name Safari. So everything is reflected here. Browser version. So these are the configuration for Android phone, iPhone, Chrome browser, then Mac system, then Firefox. So you can refer this configuration. 
so i have doubt if uh, whether i have uploaded in github or not so you can use this configuration so here i have used my keys and username so uh, you, you need to log in with your uh, email id then you will get the user id and the key also you can make use of it